Free food is low in calories, but it fills you up and therefore you don't go hungry. And so what I've tried to do is incorporate as much of that free food as possible. So these are artichokes, a lovely canned artichokes. If you never use these, start using them. They're delicious, just cold in salads, if you want an alternative thing to salads. That's a can of chickpeas that's drained, and that's um, frozen um, peas. Again, you don't need to defrost them, just chuck them in frozen. And then what I'm going to do is season that up. And you have to season it up pretty well because it's uh, got a lot of rice in there. That meal will feed, I think I put on the recipe four, but it will feed four to six easy but I'm a farmer's daughter so I like big portions you know and, and uh, so there we go so I've seasoned that up then what you do is you take your lid and you pop that on I have another um, hob over here and the hob I'm going to try and light who knew and we're going to pop it on here for five minutes only the reason I'm just doing five minutes only I want that those uh, vegetables I put in there they're obviously cold so I want to heat them through and cook them and also I want the rest of that liquid to absorb into the rice. So we're going to put that on a low heat and I'm going to turn the timer on and we'll check it after five minutes. You'll hear that going off. So that's the end. We'll come back to the beginning. Most people do a stir fry or something. No, 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 let's do something very complicated. Okay, so onion, carrot are going into this. If you saw my Spanish made Bertie, you'd be like, why are you adding onion to it? We've had a whole discussion about paella, which you pronounce as paella in Spanish, uh, which irritates him when I say paella, because we're British, so you pronounce it out. And uh, you'd say that onion shouldn't be part of the paella. Well, I disagree. I mean, what do you think he knows? I mean, he's only from Catalan. <laughs> I mean, he's only been doing it for generation after generation. Uh, but he says you should always have artichokes and peppers in it. So I haven't veered off too far. But I want to show you how to chop an onion. You basically, um, to peel an onion, just chop it in half and peel it that way rather than keeping it whole and peeling it. You've got more surface area to grab and whip that off. And then what you do is you cut it up to the root, okay? So you have the root away from you and then you cut slits in it. If you want a fine dice, you cut a lot more so, that timer was for the paella, so that cooked for five minutes slowly over there. I'm just putting that on for another ten minutes, and then that one will be ready to taste. But this is at back at the beginning of the paella. So we're putting carrots and uh, onions in there. It's a paste. Can you see that? I've cooked out the spices. That bit's quite key. Do that for two minutes. It's going to make a difference, otherwise everything will taste a bit powdery. That's um, a can, a small can of tomatoes. Just use a half a 400 gram can if you have got a small one. And roasted red peppers, a Slimming World friend, hey? So that's half a jar. So we add that in. Now, give that a stir. If I was at home, I would actually just stir that a little bit, but then I'd serve it with a pan, because what we're trying to get is a sort of like toasty sort of side to it. Oh, we haven't got it this time. What I've tried to do is write it, so you, you see it started to brown on the bottom. You know how you have a pile when you're in Spain and it's got that crusty bottom to it? That's what you're looking for. If it happens to you, that's what the recipe's meant to do. I was a bit cautious. I went in cautiously, I'd turn the heat down a bit. There'd be, um... <laughs> I don't know if I put a pip in there. I don't think I did. So I'm catching it between my hands because I want to catch the pips. That's why I'm doing that. And I'm going to put probably the juice of one lemon because they're quite small. You see, it looks lovely, freshly cooked. That appeals to everyone in the family, I hope. And also, you've got a lot of free food in there. You've got onions, carrots, peppers, peas, artichokes, and uh, what else have I got in there? Chickpeas. Chickpeas, love chickpeas. Right, so I bolt it out with veg in there. So you don't actually need to have your third of your plate full. You could just eat that and you're still on top.